All right. Um, one of the biggest challenges that we've had in desktop publishing and video journalism is an understanding of what the server is. And so this video is going to hopefully make that a little bit clearer, a place where you can go to review if you forget. Um, but we're going to talk about the server. So first of all, your desktop hopefully looks kind of like this. I cleaned mine up, put everything in a folder over here. And so I have a nice desktop here that I can work from. Um, and all of you at some point in the next week, um, in, the, in the first week of the semester, I should say, will have something on your desktop that looks like this over here uh, with these three little people. Mine says West Journalism because I uh, have access to all of the servers where yours might just say uh, Photo Journalism 1 or Video Journalism 3 or something like that. So it just depends on what class you're enrolled on, enrolled in, but it will look exactly like this. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and it's going to take me to a finder window. So remember up here in the left, uh, upper left hand corner is where you're going to, is where you're going to be able to see what program you're in at all times. So right now we're in finder. This is a finder window. Okay. And I'm going to go to, uh, West Photo Journalism 1 because that's the class that I teach and I'm going to open this and I can look at here's all of this data here and this is old data this is not even my class from <laughs> last semester but there it is everything in West Photo Journalism 1. Um, you won't have a recycle folder um, again, that's me because uh, I have access to things that you do not because I am a teacher. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can explain the different pieces here and how this works. Okay, So this up here, the very top, you can see right up here at the very top, this has the name of the server. Okay, So if I was in a different class or if I was in a newspaper folder, this would say newspaper or yearbook or whatever it is. So that's your, the name of your, of your uh, server up there. Okay. Now, remember the whole point of a server is that it gives you the opportunity to access your files from any computer in the journalism room. Uh, if you just save to the desktop, you cannot um, access those files anywhere else, only on that one computer. So that's why saving to the server, especially if you want to come in and work during study hall or uh, GPS or before or after school, um, there's no guarantee that the computer you work on is going to be open. The only exception to that is video journalism because we don't have enough server space. If you're in video journalism, you will um, be able to work on the computer that you're on. But for um, desktop publishing, you're going to have to save to the server as often as you can. Okay, so that's what all these files are here. Over here on the left, let's look at um, what this finder window does over here. So first of all, if I click on all my files, this is going to bring up everything that's on my, on my desktop. And Apple divides it up by documents, images, PDF documents, movies, other things, whatever. And so if you're ever looking for something, that's one place that you can go. Um, you're not ever going to use iCloud Drive or AirDrop, so you don't have to worry about that. Finder can also, if you don't know where applications are, you can look here for applications. I always prefer looking up here with a spotlight search, um, but if you would rather do that way, then you can. Okay, here's the desktop. So if I click on the desktop here, then I have my folder that I can see right over here, but I can look um, and, and find my files that are right there. I can go to documents. I can go to downloads. This is anything that I've downloaded. So if you'll see here, um, a lot of these are fonts, and at some point in the semester, we're going to learn how to download fonts, and that's what a lot of these are. Um, so if you can't find something that you've downloaded, you can always look on your download folder, okay? This right here where it says shared, this is the server. So if I ever need to get back to the main server, you can see all the different servers that I have access to. You will only have access to whatever server you are in class for. So I'm going to go back to West Photo Journalism 1, okay? All right, then I'm going to show you um, how to move things from one place to the other because this happens quite a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is file and new finder window. And now I have another file here. So let's say I have something on my desktop that I need to get over here on the server, okay? And let's say it is this picture right here. I have this picture of this cutout turkey hand, okay? 
and I want to put it on the server. Well, the best way to do it, I've got two windows. I'm going to drag this, highlight it, drag it over till I see that plus sign, and I'm just going to put it right there. And that's the easiest way to get stuff from my desktop. And again, look up here at the top, it says that I'm on my desktop. This over here at the top says West Photojournalism 1. This is the server. This is the desktop. This is the server. Desktop, server, okay? So those are the, the, that's how you use these two things together. Um, one last thing that I want to show you with Finder that is re really helpful is that you can change how you see things. Some people like this um, format. I don't like this because it looks too cluttered to me. I like this one here because I can change looking at, uh, at the files by date. So if I know that I downloaded something in April, I can go to date modified and I can look here for April and it will show me exactly what it is. And I also like that it organizes it in a nice line. The other thing I really like, especially with photos, is this fourth one here because I can look at photos just like this. And it'll take a second. I forgot to log out once and so someone downloaded a funny picture. But I can look at the photos until I'm ready to find the one that I need, okay? Instead of having to open every single photo, this is like a preview. And if I want to make this bigger, I can just pull this down here and then I can really see in, in better detail. It's pixelized right now. Once it loads correctly, um, it will not be quite so pixelized. It just takes a, takes a second. So anyway, that is the best way to use uh, Finder and how to understand the server. Um, remember that as you... Um, as you work in our classes, you will be expected to know how to use the server. So come back to this video when you need another explanation. Um, but this is, this is something that is absolutely vital to your success in this class.